Make a new Prince of Persia, you fuck. I'm, I'm literally, literally playing a Prince of Persia right now. Um, I'm not sure if many of you remember Forgotten Sands. A. So Forgotten Sands, for those that don't know, I did my full retrospective of the Prince of Persia series because I'm a huge nerd like that. I just love the series that much. Now, with talks that there is a Sands of Time remake uh, being rumored right now, um, I'm very interested to see where that goes. I'm down for a Sands of Time remake. There's a few things with Sands of Time I'm still like, eh. You know, combat, boss fights, things like that. Uh, Forgotten Sands, though, uh, this is a real tragedy. Well, as the tragedy is a little dramatic. Now, water is great, and it, like, keeps you alive, but is dangerous. Everyone that's drank water, as Liam says, Who they've all you? died. What have you done? You ask as if I were a ruffian, a wanderer with no place in this palace. Yeah, Yuri Lowenthal. Know that I am a son to King Sharaman and brother of Prince Malik, who rules here in our father's name. I did not come here seeking a mythical army. I was sent to study alongside my brother, that someday I might be as great a leader as he is. This territory was once the heart of King Solomon's mighty empire. According to legend, it holds a secret we are sworn to protect. Uh -huh. Perhaps that secret is the reason the fortress is much. Is that secret? But kingdoms. where, like, is the mystery the where this takes place the in the timeline? A lot of people say this is supposed to take place before Warrior Within, but after Sands of Time, and that bunch of years where the prince was training to be a hard-ass motherfucker. But like. Did the Dahaka wait a couple years? Is the Dahaka on his trail right now? Or or is this a new timeline where the Dahaka is just not around? This is a very gorgeous FV. I gotta I'll say that for sure. But I'm just I'm just wondering, what are what are your Prince of Persia theories? Did the Haka like give the prince some like leisure time? Like, yeah, go jump. Yeah, parkour, parkour, parkour! Parkour! Do all that shit, and I'll and I'll catch up with you in a few years. Or is the Dahaka sniffing at his asshole right now, but we just never see him? Give me it. Hey, it's just a theory, a poorly researched and reasoned theory. I'm excited to play this again. I'm, I'm playing this on my Xbox One. Um, you know, is you can say a lot of things about the Xbox One, and I do. But um, one thing you can't say is that I didn't fuck around in backwards compatibility. Well, this oh so shit! I did put the fucking it. no, no. All right, I fixed it. So this is Prince of Persia: Sands of Time. And you know, I'll I won't go that too much into the history of the game. Uh, you can go see my uh, Mass Palace Persia for that. But um, the the short and the uh, and the quick of it. Um, I think this game has it, it gets really good later on. I think it's very very slow all, almost up until the entire game. Um, it's it's definitely not my favorite Prince of Persia game by far. Uh, if you could combine the Wii version with this version, that'd be a badass version. If it didn't have motion controls and was HD, but was the Wii version, I would like that overall better than this. Now this does have some nice things about it, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see as we go. We'll play as we see. Uh, they throw a lot of enemies at you, so you're supposed to always be moving, hopping on their heads, moving to the next guy. I wouldn't say it's Musou-like, but it's very Musou-like. And you know, this is really, really similar to Starts of Sands of Time. I don't think that was a coincidence. I am pretty sure Ubisoft was thinking, hey, you know what people like? Sands of Time. You know, while uh, Sands of Time and then therefore the entire Sands of Time trilogy uh, was kind of looked upon so fondly, uh, the fact that this game kind of returned to that storyline with, like, you know, Yuri Lowenthal in the lead role, a lot of people kind of missed him after it. The, yeah, a lot of people also really, really like, and I won't, I won't, you know, say they're wrong, really like the, the Prince of Persia 2008 reboot, Prince of Persia Zero. I really wish they had called that game something. I hate calling it 2008 or Zero. It's not even called, it's not called any of those things. It just, just any sort of subtitle would have been nice. Just come on, Ubisoft. 
I do have to say this, this looks quite nice. Like it almost looks very like PS4, Xbox One-ish, despite it being 360 PS3. I don't know, let me know in the comments if I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. Royalty-free pop smash sound effect. <sighs> and you know, as as decent uh, of a game this is, as even as good of a game this is, I wouldn't say it's great. Um, that at the end of the day, Ubisoft made this to capitalize on the Prince of Persia movie, which was Ubisoft's big move into movies. It didn't it didn't pay off lots of dividends? Would I rather watch Santa Time than the Assassin's Creed movie? Hell's yeah, I would. That's easy. I do that for free. Um, you know, if someone says in the comments, I, re I really like the Assassin's Creed movie. Um, I can't help you. Uh, I watch, I've watched every bad movie you could possibly think of. I, I did not make it through Assassin's Creed. And I thought that movie was going to be great. The, uh, the actors associated with that, the source material the director even i was like oh this has a really good shot of being a good video game movie i stopped watching i want to say 35 minutes in because it was so dreadfully dull just all over the place just terrible dialogue and just edited so poorly and just it had no idea what it wanted to be and it was none of those things that it did want to be so bad like you know, Sands of Time is no great shake. Still immensely more entertaining than Assassin's Creed was. And it's it's really a shame. I'm going to open up something real quick just because I want to show off now. The upgrade tree, which is a very nice thing to have in, in my in my Prince of Persia. See, it's very basic. Um, you can unlock various spells. I'm not sure if we're going to get that far tonight. It's a little, it's a little late right now. Um, but uh, it's one of those uh, small little things that I was kind of like, yeah, you know what, that, that, that makes sense after a lot of Prince of Persia games where there was no kind of upgrade and there wasn't really much you could do elsewhere than just getting a few new swords and a power here and there. You know, I'm down for that. This reminds me of Azad. Does remind me of Azad. This also reminds me of Azad. Yuri Lothal is just generally so good in just how he captures that adventurous sort of hero feeling. Like, yeah, he's had a lot of bit roles in the years too, but Oh, Jesus. Uh, obviously, Prince of Persia. Uh, you know, obviously, Persona. Obviously, Spider-Man, which I think is his magnum opus. If you went to a workshop where Yuri and his wife did a workshop on uh, voice acting, and they were just so funny and entertaining just listening to them. Not that I would aspire to have a career in voice acting, but they made the subject material interesting and 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 entertaining enough so uh big ups to them for always kind of doing that that was at, like montreal comic-con like years and years ago i think one thing i have to say playing through the just this little bit opening portions animation not nearly up to the same quality level as 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 pretty much especially pop zero 2008 whatever um which had some of the best animation in the entire uh, franchise in general, I feel. This one feels a little Malik, stiffer. Malik. No? No, I guess not. I guess me shouting Malik wasn't the good enough. There wasn't any battle going on there, but whatever. Whatever, Prince. Whatever, Dastan. And it's a weird thing. It's It went from being really elaborate enemies that would take a lot of hits, a lot of techniques using the dagger, all that stuff in Sands of Time, to it basically being very, you know, hack and slash, almost beat em up -y in in how most enemies play down the game. Obviously, we're going to get to some uh, bigger and scarier ones later. I mean, real, real, real beef of this game is that it doesn't actually become all that interesting or even that challenging until like the last hour or two. That's when you start getting all these cool powers, but they only use them very sparingly. You get like the last two, the last power or two in like, again, the last 10% of the game. And that's when it starts to get really, really interesting. And then it, the game just kind of ends, unfortunately. Ma-leak. 
No? Cool. You know, a lot of people tell me on Twitter and such, well, it's like, Matt, they're not going to make a new Prince of Persia because they have Assassin's Creed, and I totally get that. And up until a couple years ago, I was like, yeah, you're probably right. But now since Assassin's Creed has very clearly established itself as more of an action RPG nowadays, which I think is good, I think there's definitely room for more of a pure platforming game like Prince of Persia from Ubisoft. And we'll see if that that, that Sands of Time remake comes true. Because I've always said, like, the cancelled game that it was, Climax Studios was making a simple, downloadable, like, you know, 2D, 3D hybrid Prince of Persia platformer that unfortunately got turned into the Assassin's Creed Chronicles games. And I've been fine with that. I, like, I'll always relent that, like, hey, if you have a big, big series that's doing well for yourself, don't don't take my obscure dumb thing and try to put billions of, of, of Ubisoft French money bucks into that. No, that's unrealistic, and I'm not going to say you should. If it's really a remake of Sands of Time, like I said, and I also put some thoughts on on Twitter saying I'd, I'd be super down for it. I, th I think the game has aged enough in certain areas. Not, not, like, it's a bigger percentage that the game still really holds up. Rather than, oh, this needs, oh, you need to fix that shit. It's just little tiny things. Like, the the combat is 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 good in Sands of Time, but it's undoubtedly the weakest part of the game. You know, even back then it kind of was. Never catch up to the at this rate. Not really. And if it was just like a um, uh, Shadow of the Colossus style remake where it's just visuals, and a few tiny other things, I'd be actually really disappointed. I would want way more new new stuff. I don't know what, but I, there's just add more, add more story, add more dialogue, add like way more combat shit. I, do, I don't care at this point. Just keep the platforming fun and challenging. Keep the, a, uh, the script charming, you know, keep the dialogue as just as it was before almost. Uh, you don't have to go, you know, one-to-one -one recreation, but just keep those core things, like, as it were, and just redo everything else. I don't care. I'm just, I'm, I'm just happy there's more Prince of Persia. Again, this is going to be really disappointing where after, you know, fake E3 time rolls around June when companies say they're going to still announce some stuff, um, that they're going to announce nothing. And I will be a sad Matthew again. So you know it's a weird thing. I don't know why they changed this. We'll talk about it in a second because this enemy is... I think this enemy is going to bust through. No, it's not. Uh, Malik has blue, greenish eyes, blue eyes. This prince, the Sands of Time prince, also did in Sands of Time. Maybe in, in Two Thrones and Warrior Within, I don't remember. But in Sands of Time, he certainly did. This prince has brown, dark eyes again, but his, his brother has blue. I don't know what the fuck. No one was paying attention. So, the, Malik, this is how the, the kingdom was constructed. Huh? Some asshole has to go monkeying about on top of these things? What if they, you don't have anyone that's athletically inclined? Like, say, me! You'd be fucked. Where's Farah? I miss Farah. I have no one to talk to, like, in this game right now. Uh, there is uh, the genie, the Jin. I forget her name, R Riza, I think. Um, she's in here, but she's only in certain cutscenes. It's another, it's a small, it's a small problem I have with this game, but like, she should be with you the entire game I'll just to get that you. Sands of Time feeling yes. there. And the maybe you have a slightly way. different Much personality faster. than than Farah, but she should be talking you, with you. There's a talking genie in the Wii version. I don't know why she's not in this version as well. But it would just be nice for the prince not to be talking to himself the entire time and, and most of the time not really having really anything interesting to say. I'm sure Yuri would have wanted someone to bounce off of a bit. Okay, wait, now closer inspection. The prince's eyes do seem to be blue, but I swear in the FMV intro, maybe they're blue. I can't really tell. Yeah, they look bluish, but I swear in that FMV, uh, sorry, CG, I don't know why I keep making, I've, I'm failing to make that distinction. The a CGI intro, they looked really brown, and in a lot of the uh promotional renders and artwork of this version of the prince they're they're brown maybe maybe i'm i'm a stupid guy 
look at this stuff. It was such a weird thing that Ubisoft like honed in on this style of platforming when they would look at the original uh, Prince of Persia on the PC and Prince of Persia 2 Shadow in the Flame. They just kind of thought, well, if we're going to be navigating 3D space, then how about stuff like this? And it's like one of those aha moments where, you know, like a lot of games, Castlevania, Sonic that took like a long time to get 3D stuff interesting or right or feeling good um, and Because it's a hard thing to do it's like especially like going from like 2D platforming to to 3D and figuring out what works and what doesn't now did Prince of Persia have a bit of a learning period with Prince of Persia 3D Yeah, I'm not gonna say that it didn't but it, it got there I, I wouldn't, you know, I, well, that was barely made by a competent developer, so maybe it's unrealistic to say that. Metal Gear is the one that did it, that did it well. You know, Contra, not so vaults, much. All right, those are the, that's the vault. You want to not open up this at all. Just saying. Sure hope I don't have a uh, desperate brother who wants to open this up. If it is in my power to save this kingdom, I will do it. I got this MacGuffin that I didn't even have to talk about, but I got it though. As many warriors as the grains of desert sand. I hope it brings up the army of the dead from The Mummy 2. The Mummy Returns, featuring Mummy. The prince didn't really do a whole lot to stop him. He's like, hey, come on. Uh, what are you doing? Don't eat it. It is only sand. Oh my what god. Skeleton warriors! Get it off me! You have a sword. Okay, don't use it. See if I care. So here's our big bad. Ifrit, I want to say. It, it might have another name. I, I thought I remember Ifrit though, but I'm probably wrong. Here's the exciting Prince escaping sequence, usually uh, for the end of the game, but in this particular one, it's like right here. Although I think even Pop uh, 2008 also had something like this. <laughs> okay, RB is a weird button to have it. I'd much rather LT, but I think it's because there's other powers we're gonna get eventually. By giving me more time, are these the powers of the genie? Dude, this shit would be old to you. Wow, look at that life bar. Fucking extendo. I got all types of shit. Wait, do I have everything? All right, so what I'm thinking happened here, you know, this makes no sense to me. I, I don't think I've ever played this game on my Xbox One, but I seem to have all the powers unlocked from the get-go. So maybe this is importing my old 360 save because that's my full health bar and all the fucking magic spells. So that's the craziest thing I ever saw. How is that possible? Whatever, I guess I can, anyone that hasn't seen this game, I can show you all the, the combat spells and crap. So, here we go. I can just do this spell right off the bat, which is cool. It, it must be taking into account my older save, but it's so crazy. Like, I even, like, I've never played this since I've gotten this particular Xbox One, so. Uh, that's cool, I guess. Oh god. This reminds me of like Mortal Kombat Deception. Shit! Fuck. Get up! No, don't go down! There's a bell! <laughs> I freaked out. This way? Okay. You're pointing this way, guys. So I'm feeling you want me to go this way. No? No, not that way? Okay. So, yeah, I think I could take extra hits, maybe? Yeah, I know. I'm super strong and tough and a man, so... And also, the prince is pretty cool, too. Now, these traps aren't good for a lot of, you know, home defense. They are good if there's a very acrobatic young man that's... Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. This has been a long day. Oh. This fortress is not so fortressy. Look at that guy. He's actually super cute. Something about him. There's just something about that guy. Let's do this. So he's a bull rhino type guy. I wonder what we're gonna do. 
Whoa! That was actually pretty sick looking. And that's 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 the final boss of Prince of Persia, the Forgotten Sands. You know what? I'm I'm still really enjoying this game. It's it's a little lackluster in some areas and the environments are all not all that special and, and things like that, but it's still a really functional, fun Prince of Persia game. It's just, it didn't really stand out amongst all the others. But uh, would you want to see me do more on the channel? But let me know if you want me to do more on the channel, and uh, I will try my hardest next time. No, no, that's not right. I mean, I'll see what I can do for you.